main uh, character is Alice Bhatti. She's a nurse in a sort of a, in, a, in a government hospital, uh, and uh, uh, there's a sort of a guy there called uh, Teddy, uh, who they've been kind of doing this little dance around each other. Nothing has happened yet, uh, but in this scene, they're going out on their what you would call their first date. They're going out of the hospital. But the scene is being described by this teenager called Noor. Uh, who is Alice's best friend. They've known each other for a very long time. And Noor is a teenager and is full of hormones and, and lusts after uh, Alice. So whatever he's saying is obviously kind of tinged by his own, his own feelings. Yeah. So I'll just read a, read a paragraph. Yeah. Noor sees Alice and Teddy walking out of the sacred hand in hand and starts to suspect that love is not just blind, it's deaf and dumb and probably has an advanced case of Alzheimer's. It's unhinged. Look at them holding hands, whispering to each other, smiling, walking out of the hospital like they're leaving this world of pain behind forever. Alice is pretending to have lost her eyesight, holding on to Teddy's finger and walking with her eyes shut. She has probably lost her brains too. Noor has walked for too long, holding Zanab's hand to find anything remotely cute about anyone pretending to be blind. To have eyesight is to be blessed Pretending to be blind when you have a perfect pair of eyes seems to him grotesque blasphemy. And to drive some kind of sexual prayer from it is downright perverse. Noor wishes there was a government department where he could report this offense. Surely if there are laws against non-believers pretending to be Muslims, there should be a law against people with perfect eyes pretending to be blind. <laughs> Love, he concludes, is a runaway charya. It started with a casual inquiry. Alice Bhatti came over when Noor was massaging Zainab's feet, nudged him aside, and started kneading her feet and ankles with expert fingers. Where is that police stout friend of yours? And when Noor looked at her quizzically, she pulled out what looked like a toy gun and pointed it towards Noor's head. Answer before I shoot, she laughed and lowered the gun. I need his help with this. I want to be able to shoot moving targets. You definitely need help, Noor sneered. But I'm not sure if my friend is the man. My friend doesn't have a permanent address, but I let him know when he shows up next. How can there be a love between these two, Noor wonders? How can there be anything between these two? Noor knows that Alex likes sucking toffees in her breaks. He also knows that Teddy carries a check in his front pocket to monitor his sugar level and can inject insulin while riding a motorbike. She's trying to bring order to a world full of sick people, administering IVs at 2 a.m., holding old women's hands, pretending to be their daughter, reading the kalama with them as they breathe their last. He rides high on entropy. He pees right under the sign where it says, look, a dog is pissing here. Sometimes when he sees an approaching beggar, he puts his hand in his pocket, and as the beggar hovers around in anticipation, he takes out a comb and starts to groom his hair. He waxes his body hair every week. She shaves her underarm hair only at Easter and Christmas when she goes to church and wears a sleeveless dress. She looks left and right at least half a dozen times before crossing the road, sometimes walking half a mile to find pedestrian bridge or a safe zebra crossing. He rides his motorbike at full speed on the wrong side of the road and expects traffic to part for him. And it actually does. He watches National Geographic Channel in his free time. Alice has never had any free time.